Hola, boys and girls. Buenos dias. It's nice to see you today. Welcome to my Spanish class. Today we're going to do something fun that we do every year, and some of you may remember it from doing it last year. We act out Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and we use some of the words in Spanish words. So at first I'm going to tell you the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. How many of you know this story? I'm just kind of going to briefly go over it in English, and then we're going to act it out and use some Spanish words. Once upon a time, there were three bears, and they lived in a house in the woods. And one day, Mother Bear made a big pot of porridge. We're just going to call it oatmeal. And it was time for them to eat breakfast, but it was too hot. So Daddy Bear said, hey, let's go for a walk in the woods. So they went out in the woods to walk for a little while so that their oatmeal could cool off and they could eat it. Then along came a little girl walking in the woods by herself, and she was really hungry, and she smelled that oatmeal. Now, should a little girl be walking in the woods by herself? Goodness, no. You should always have an adult with you if you go anywhere. Well, she knocked on the door of the house in the woods, and nobody answered, so she let herself in. And She could really smell that oatmeal, and she was so hungry, so she went in the kitchen, and she tried... Daddy Bear's oatmeal. It was too hot. She tried Mama Bear's oatmeal. It was just too cold. And she tried Baby Bear's oatmeal and she ate all of it. So then she saw a living room and there were a bunch of chairs there. So she went and sat in Daddy Bear's chair and it was too hard. And she sat in Mama Bear's chair. Oh, it was just too soft. And she sat in Baby Bear's chair and she broke it. Then she went upstairs and she found Papa Bear's chair, uh, uh, Papa Bear's bed. Oh, it was just too hard. She tried Mama Bear's bed. Oh, it was too soft. She tried Baby Bear's bed and it was just right. And she'd eaten so much oatmeal that she laid down and she fell asleep. Well, in the meantime, the bears come home from their walk and they come into the house. And Papa Bear says, somebody's been eating my oatmeal. And Mama Bear says, somebody's been eating my oatmeal. And Bear 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 says, somebody's been eating my oatmeal and they ate it all up. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So they go into the living room and Papa Bear says, somebody's been sitting in my chair. And Mama Bear says, somebody's been sitting in my chair. And Baby Bear says, somebody's been sitting in my chair and they broke it. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. So then they went upstairs and Papa Bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Mama Bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And Baby Bear says, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. <gasps> and there she is. And Goldilocks woke up and saw the bears and she was scared. And she ran out of the house and she ran all the way home. And she never went on adventures by herself ever again. Okay, so now we're going to act it out. We're going to act it out using some Spanish words. So it's going to be Goldilocks and the Tres Ositos. So, here is Papa Bear, Padre Bear in Spanish. Here is Mother Bear, Madre, Madre Bear in Spanish. And here's the tiny baby bear, Bebe Bear in Spanish. And they lived in a house in the woods. So they lived in a casa in the woods. Casa is house. So one day, Madre Bear cooked lots of oatmeal for the family. Padre Bear says, this oatmeal is too caliente, too hot. Let's go outside and go for a walk while this oatmeal cools off. So Papa Bear, which is Padre Bear, Mother Bear, Madre Bear, and Baby Bear, which is Bebe Bear, or Ositos in Spanish, the Tres Ositos go outside of their casa and they go for a walk in the woods. So then along comes Goldilocks. I smell oatmeal and I'm so hungry. So she goes up to the casa and she knocks. She goes around and she looks through the windows and nobody answers. So Goldilocks goes inside the casa. And the first thing that Goldilocks sees all of the oatmeal. Oh, and she is so, so hungry. So, 
She tries Padre Osito's oatmeal. Whoop! Too hot, caliente. She tries Madre Osito's oatmeal. Too cold. Then she tries Bebe Osito's oatmeal. Oh, that's just right. So Goldilocks eats all of Bebe Osito's oatmeal. Then she goes into the living room. She's doing all these things you shouldn't do, didn't she? So she goes in the living room and she sees Padre Osito's big grande chair. And she sits down in pa Padre Osito's chair. Woo! Too hard! So she gets up and she sees Madre Osito's chair. And she sits in it. Mm, too soft! So she jumps up and she sees Bebe Osito's little tiny chair. And she sits down in it. Ah! And she breaks the chair. She's like, uh oh! So then she walks up the stairs and she's like, oh, I am so very tired now. And she sees the trace beds. Let's count them. You ready? Uno, dos, trace. So she sees Padre Osito's grande big bed. She lays down in it. Whoop! Too hard. I don't like it. So then she sees Madre Osito's chair. She lays down in it. Whoop! Too soft. I don't like that either. So then she sees Bebe Osito's little tiny bed. She lays down in it. She's like, oh, I like that. So she falls asleep. In the meantime, back at the Trace Osito's house, their casa, their casa. Here comes Bebe Ositos, Madre Ositos, and Padre Ositos. The Trace Ositos. Let's count them. Uno, dos, tres. That's why they're called the Trace Ositos. So they go inside their casa, and Padre Bear's thinking, hmm, something's just not right. So they go into the living room, and they look around. Somebody's been here. So then they go into the kitchen, where their oatmeal has been sitting and waiting to cool off for them. Padre Bear, Padre Osito in Spanish, picks up his oatmeal, and goes, somebody's been eating my oatmeal. Madre Osito picks up her oatmeal and she goes, somebody's been eating my oatmeal. And then here comes Bebe Osito and he picks up his oatmeal and goes, somebody's been eating my oatmeal and they ate all of it up. Hoo, 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 hoo. So Padre Osito knew something was going on here. Something is wrong. So then they went in the living room. And Padre Osito said, Hey, somebody's been sitting in my grande chair. And here comes Madre Osito. And she's like, Hey, somebody's been in sitting in my soft, soft chair. And then here comes Bebe Osito and he goes, Hey, look, somebody's been sitting in my chair and they broke it. Boo hoo hoo hoo. Papa Bear said, what is going on here? We've got to figure out if somebody's in the house. So then they all went upstairs. Boom, 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 boom. Padre Osito, Madre Osito, and Bebe Osito. And they went up to the bedroom. Padre said, hey, somebody's been sleeping in my grande bed. Madre Osito said, hey, somebody's been sleeping in my nice soft bed. And then Bebe Osito said, hey, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And there she is. And Goldilocks jumped up and screamed, 
she ran down the stairs and she ran out of the casa and she went back home and she never, ever, ever went out by herself again. Wasn't that fun to act that out and use some Spanish words? If you don't have props like these of some, some ositos or a casa or some other beds, you can do it at home. Maybe your mom and dad can play the characters with you. So we learned casa today, which is house, casa. We learned tres ositos, tres ositos, which are three bears. Uno, dos, tres. We learned padre osito, which is father osito. We learned madre osito, which is mother osito. And we learned bebe osito, which is baby osito. Then we learned with our porridge, we learned that she made oatmeal and she made trace bowls of oatmeal. And we learned that Padres was caliente, hot, hot. And then when we went to the three beds and the three chairs, we learned that there were trace beds, uno, dos, tres, and the same with the chairs. Uno, dos, tres. And we learned that Padre Osito's chair was big, so it was grande. So wasn't that fun acting that out with all of our good words that we're learning in Spanish now? So maybe you can take your animals and your Barbies or your brothers and sisters or mom and dad and you can act that out too. That was really fun. Okay, let's do our numbers really quick. Are you ready? Our numbers in Spanish, we're going to count to ten. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Let's count to ten. Let's practice some of our colors. I took these little soft popsicle sticks and put the little pins in them and made a couple of fans and made some reminders. Let's go over these. Blue, azul, yellow, amarillo, green, Verde, purple, purple, morado, red, rojo, orange, and anaranjado. Let's do those again. Are you ready? Blue, azul, yellow, amarillo, green, verde, purple, Morado, red, rojo, orange, and enranjado. These are just a few of our colors. If you look at my shirt, I have another color we did. Blanco, white. My grandma's shark is written in blanco, white. And my shark is pink, rosa. Okay. It's been really fun having Spanish with you today. And learning how you can take a regular story and insert some Spanish words in it and make it more fun. Okay? I hope you're having a good time. Miss Cindy will see you next week. Adios, amigos. Goodbye. Adios. Adios. My color hand is going to wave at you, too. Adios. Adios. Let's let the tres ositos wave goodbye at you, too. Madre. Adios, amigos. Padre osito. Adios, amigos. Bebe. Ositos. Adios, amigos. Goodbye.